Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. Um, I okay. Let's talk about Taylor and Brooke and Liam and um Hope. The thing I didn't know about. And this, this kind of greatly affects a, a lot of the stuff that I was kind of annoyed about was time. I say that because, you know, Brooke is like, yo, how long are we going to let this chick live in this fantasy land where, you know, her and Liam are husband and, and wife, you know, like, we just going to not talk about Hayes. We, you know, everyone has been coming at Taylor and Rich for being like, yo, we're not going to let this go on forever. What I didn't know, and I, I they said it before, it just went right off my head. Tell, I mean, Steffi just woke up. She's been awake for one day. Okay, this makes a whole lot of di this, this This makes a huge difference because we've been watching this about a week or two weeks. So to us, we're sitting there thinking, it's been like a couple of days now. Y'all just want to, it's been damn near two weeks. We just want to sit there and let this chick just think that, you know, husband and wife and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Like, what's what's, what's going to wind up happening? Like, you do realize later on down the, down the line, um, y'all going to have to tell her. Otherwise, it's going to be a, you know, worse her reaction when she finds all this out. And I've been upset about it because I've been like, yo, you, you cool with that? You cool with them just messing up the relationship? It's been a day. Okay, it's been a day. If I knew it was just a day, I'm like, yo, y'all need to just kind of just breathe for a minute. Y'all acting like it's been going on for two weeks and it's only been a day. And when you think about it like that, it's like, okay, you know what? I can understand why Taylor's like, you give her a minute, like, she literally just woke up, like, one day ago, um, that makes a huge difference, okay, <laughs> makes a huge difference, I went back and looked at some of my videos, um, after, before I started recording this, and I was like, man, I was really, but of course, it's understandable, because we're looking at this in real time, you know, we watched this Monday through Friday, but, you know, soap opera time and their their whole story is a lot different than, well, reality. Um, so there's that. I want to talk about Quinn, Eric, and, um, Quinn, Eric, and Carter for a minute. Um, because I'm going to be honest, this almost... All right, so... Eric is very distracted. He's sitting there talking about Steffi with with Quinn, and you know, Quinn's like, "Oh, you know, maybe that's the reason why you've been, you know, I can understand why you've been so distracted and stuff like that." And Carter comes in there, and Carter's like, "You know, we're really praying for her, and we we, we miss her at work, and we we can't wait to her, you know, for her to return." Cool, all good and well. Eric is like, "Oh, I got something to do. I I got an appointment," and Quinn's like, "Uh, you do." Because <laughs> it's kind of something you usually tell me about, you know, these type of things. And it looks like Quinn is, is ready to kiss him on the lips. And Eric kisses her on the cheek. And he walks out. And Quinn is like, you know, do you think it's because of our affair that we had that we just can't get back to normal and in sync? And, you know, is he ever going to really love me? Um... You know, again, like she, like he used to, and Carter's like, uh, maybe because his granddaughter is still in a hospital, and there's a psycho that's just running around LA, just shooting people. Maybe he's just super distracted about that. Maybe, maybe that's it. I, <laughs> in a lot of ways, this is why I feel like this show should be an hour because they cut to them before a couple of days ago. And, you know, Quinn was all like, oh, I miss you, Carter. And now it's like, 
oh, you know, do you think that we're ever going to get back to, I don't know if we're going to get back to the way we were. And it's like, what are we doing with these characters? I, I just, I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. Um, we don't know. Okay, here's the thing. What I'm just having issue with. Is that I don't know or we don't know. We don't know. Did did Eric's erectile dysfunction problem go away? Is is that still a thing? Or are they, you know, better in sync as far as that air is concerned? Are he still having issues? I mean I say that because there's a you know, she's all worried about this stuff, and I'm like, I feel like there's more, but we're not really getting that much. I mean, hell, we haven't seen him in, like, weeks. Weeks. I felt like almost it was, like, damn near a month. I remember the last time I, before this, I saw her, um, when was the last time I saw her? Oh, she was making a ring for Zenday. And the time after that was more recent, um, when... You know, she chimed in on Zendy like, hey, you think it's a good idea for you to propose to her? Because last time it kind of went a little, you know, sideways. Um, so I feel like we're not getting enough of them. And, I mean, let's be honest. You know, Quinn got into a very psychopath, you know, psychotic rage with Donna. And, of course, Eric, like the jackass that he is, on that front, fired her. So I'm just like, bro, since you fired this chick, did... did are y'all better? Or are y'all at the same place? Like, what is going on with this relationship? Um, so we got that going on. Now, Baker's not there asking, um, Steffi a lot of questions as far as like, hey, do you remember anything? You know, like, do you remember this face? Do you remember her face? Like, well, he said his face because, you know, apparently it couldn't be a woman that shot whatever. So, he's asking questions, and Steph is like, oh, I remember, I remember Sheila. Sheila is in a damn corner, it was by the door, sweating bullets. I would sit there at this point, ask Sheila, what the hell are you still doing there? But, you know, she's a sociopath, so, not exactly a lot of logic, a lot of room to really work, work with as far as, you know, that is concerned. Um... But then Stephanie's like, you know, oh, I don't understand why you're here. You cause our family so much problems. What are you doing here? And Rich is like, yo, kick rocks. So Taylor comes back in there eventually. And, you know, Stephanie's feeling kind of down because she couldn't really help them the way that they, you know, are asking. And they're like, nah, just chill and rest. They go out there. And they decide to get some coffee. Now, Sheila comes back in. Well, Sheila is talking to Officer Baker. And, um, you know, he's just pretty much asking the same things like, hey, do you know any enemies that would sit there and want to harm him and yada, yada, yada. Well, first of all, he's like, I'm surprised you're in that room. Given you and the Forrester's history, I'm surprised they even let you in that damn room. And of course, Sheila plays the whole, oh, my son got shot and he's dead and everything like that. And, you know, Baker's like, oh, you know, listen, I get it. I apologize. You know, like, I get it. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have some follow-up questions. So, you know. He doesn't say don't skip town, but it's, it's, it's implied not to really go anywhere. Um, Sheila goes back in, in the room. Now, Stephanie's asleep, and Sheila gets closer to medical equipment, and it's like, well, you know, accidents happen, and I'm just like, I mean, listen, if there was any time to do that, now would be the time. Well, if you watch the promos, you kind of realize that, um, you know, I don't want to give it away if you didn't watch it, but if you, you watch the promos, you kind of realize what one of happening and why this is kind of a moot point. Um, as far as that last scene with Sheila looked like she's about to tamper with um, medical supplies. I mean, you know, her medical equipment. Not gonna exactly say what, but um, I feel like I'm giving half of it away, but I'm not giving the full thing away. So I feel still feel kind of good about this review. Um, what else we got going on? 
So yeah, you know, Brooke is sitting there talking to Liam and Hope, and she's all like, well, you know, we can't let this thing go on forever. And, you know, basically, Hayes got to sit there and find out, you know, what's going on and, you know, your relationship, you know, because she's worried about the relationship. And I'm like, sweetheart, up until this point, I was with you, and I'm still with her, but I'm like, you're acting like this has been going on for weeks and months and nearly a year. And this has been going on for a day. A day. Okay? She wants to make sure that her daughter mental health is not compromised by, you know, them coming in and be like, hey, listen, um, your real husband, not him, is dead. And um, also you have a son. You know, they want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I understand Taylor's, you know, her whole stance on, yo, can you just give her some time? Like she just woke up like yesterday. Um, but, you know, Brooke is not there talking like, oh, well, now she's gone. Let's, we got we to gotta really sit there and do this. And they, they, they elect Liam like, yo, you got to sit there and tell her. Liam had to be the peace, had to be the keep, peacekeeper. I mean, it looked like it was being an argument between Brooke and Taylor and kind of Hope. And now they're like, hey, you got to be the one to sit there and tell her, you know, that Finn is dead and that you're not her husband. Oh, and also that she has a son. So so don't forget that. He's like, I'm sorry, what? And mind you, Brooke is championing this whole thing because they gave her this false impression that Liam is still her husband. But it's been a day. And I know I'm getting kind of annoying saying that, but you know, up until this point, I didn't know it was a day. I, you know, like, <clears throat> I feel like that's a, yeah, I feel like that's about it. So with that being said, I'm going to go. I want right, to thank you for watching. Be safe. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.